Okay, I'm gonna give you what's going on in this real estate market. Also, for my sellers out there, I'm gonna give you three hacks. Yes, three hacks about how to sell your home at top dollar so you can get more cash out. And then, wait, wait, okay, wait, wait. You know what, I have something, I have something to share at the end. So you gotta hang around, okay? You gotta hang around, cause I'm gonna give you the truth, the truth and nothing but the truth about what in the heck is going on with this real estate market. So all kidding aside, I became a realtor 30 years ago because I always wanna make sure that I put my clients' needs first and ensure that they reach their financial and real estate goals. So that means that I, I always put people first. People first, always. So do you want to come on this journey with me? Come on. Remember, we're going to talk about the real estate market as it pertains to sellers. That means we're going to talk about interest rates, forbearance, unemployment, and days on market. You may ask, why do I need to know about these things? These things directly or indirectly impact how much moolah or cash you're going to get in your pocket. And also remember, don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I'm gonna share my thoughts. Okay, let's get into the real estate market right now. So I'm gonna keep everything simple. There's a lot of numbers and I can throw a lot of numbers at you, but I wanna really think, um, talk about how these numbers impact your everyday and your everyday decisions. Okay. Interest rates. What do you need to know about interest rates? We all know that they're hovering around 3%. For the most part, they were under 3% for a while. Um, then they kind of bumped up over the last week. So now they're right around 3%. So what does this mean for the seller? This means for a seller that there's going to be a plethora. Plethora is, wait a minute. I don't even know if that's the right word. But anyway, there's going to be a lot of buyers bidding on your home. So right now we're getting 10 20 bids on a home that is not normal but it is kind of the new normal for right now it's going to change believe me so right now for a seller you're able to get a good price you're able to like have like the cream of the crop of buyers coming in giving cash offers with no contingencies so it's a perfect storm right now so if you want to sell your home Okay, it's, it's, it's kind of right the right time right now, but uh, that's, that's only me. That's only me. Okay, so forbearance. What is forbearance? So forbearance is a temporary either reduction or pause of your mortgage payment if you meet the qualifications under the government code. So we have two type of home homeowners. One is going to be homeowners that are going to take advantage of that forbearance, either because they need to, or they just want to. And then you're going to have homeowners that either don't qualify or they are just in a situation they don't need it. So for the ones that do need it, they're in forbearance. They may have 12, 15 months, they keep extending it. You just don't know what the government is going to do. But at the end of that term, they're going to have to start paying that money back. So one thing is the government right now is not requiring all the money to be paid back all at one lump sum. You will have to pay it back over time. But those folks will have to make a decision. Do they have enough income to pay it back over time? Or will they need to put their house up on the market? So that's one group. The other group of homeowners are the ones that either they just want to stay in their home or the home that they're in is not a home that they see themselves in for the next five or 10 years. So then that means that they have to make a decision about what they want to do. Do they want to sell their home right now when they can get top dollar? There's not a lot of competition. They could command a high price. The interest rates are low so they can get what they want pretty much if they do the right thing. The job market. Right now, 
In California, the unemployment rate is around 9%. But we all know that even the economists and the professionals out there that deal in these numbers know that that, num that number is probably somewhere in the double digits because people have just kind of dropped out of the system. They are making their way some kind of way, but they're not reporting, self-reporting that they're actively looking for a job. God bless all those folks that are in that situation right now. My heart goes out to you. But the unemployment rate definitely impacts the economy. So it's going to impact you selling your house. Right now, a lot of those folks are being supplemented by government um, you know, programs or whatnot and stimulus packet. But at some point in time, it's going to be over. And then what's going to happen to the economy after that? The last thing is the days on the market for homes. In a way, it's good for sellers because for a seller, like you can expect if you price your house right, you have it staged properly, two weeks. You should be impending in two weeks because that's where we're at right now. But the reason why the days on the market is short is because there's not a lot of inventory out there. So where, you know, on the weekend, I would go out and show my clients maybe 10, 20 houses. There's not that many out there. So... Um, you're able to kind of command a price and you don't stay on the market that that long. If you're staying on the market longer than that, then you have to kind of do a self-assessment, talk to your realtor and figure out what's going on. Hack number one. So the first thing you need to do is talk to a professional, a professional realtor. And the reason why I say professional is because there's a lot of discount brokers out there and not to knock all of them, but again, you sometimes get what you pay for. So when you hire a professional, they should come in. They're not going to harass you about selling your house, but they should come in and help you assess your needs. Determine what the plan is. Is there a short-term, mid-term, long-term plan? Sometimes, again, you may not even want to sell your house, but you need to find out the information. So that realtor should work with you to meet your needs. So that realtor should have the information and technology because we all, all know that COVID is still running rampant. So you should be protected and your family and your house should be protected. So that agent should have technology such as my company. We have online appointments. We have um, photographers where we do video showings and a virtual showings. And then, you know, we do use the proper protocols to show houses in person. But this is, should just be a consultation to let you know where you stand, what are your options, and how can we meet your needs. Okay, so then we're going to go to hack number two. So hack number two is to stage, declutter, and clean. So staging. First of all, what does your house look like? What condition is it in? Sometimes, you know, as the homeowner, like my house looks perfect, but you know, to a buyer, it may be a different story. So again, this is where the realtor is going to help you out to determine if you need staging. I really love to have staging, but some of my clients' houses are super nice, so they do not need staging but everyone needs a good cleaning and decluttering the last thing that you need to think about as a seller is to do some inspections i really very much um, consult my sellers to get inspections up front so you know what you're dealing with you know what's going on with your house either you can fix some things or not fix some things but you don't want to rely on a buyer coming in to upsell or put a high bid in on your property, knowing that they're gonna do inspections and then they're gonna windle that um, purchase price down. So you, you wanna know your numbers up front. Separates you from getting full price offer from your neighbor down the street getting a $30,000 
higher offer on their property. It's usually because it was staged, it was properly cleaned and decluttered, and there may be some other things that a professional realtor would share with you. Again, yes, you can put your house on the market, you can get it sold, but there are still houses right now, homes on the market that are getting a little bit lower than asking price because the seller gets a little bit greedy. They haven't prepared their house in a way that would make you know a buyer pay that much money and they do get a little bit under it happens you know not everyone is getting thirty thousand dollars over asking price but it is competitive out there. hack number three we're almost done okay bridging the current house to the new house what do you do where are you going to live that is probably the number one question the professional realtor should also help you with the timing of putting your home on the market. It's not a rush. Again, it's no scare tactics, but what works good for you? Sometimes there needs to be a little pause so you can figure out what the market is doing so you can get top dollar because timing is definitely everything. Three. Okay, here's the truth. So rosy or bleak? rosy or bleak i am not here to paint everything nice and fuzzy for you these are hard times but people have through the beginning of time have bought and sold or traded real estate okay in up times and downtime but you have to know when the right time is for you. You also have to, as a buyer, be patient. Your time is coming, it is coming, but you need to know your numbers. You need to make sure that you talk to a professional, contact me. I have great real estate um, mortgage brokers that I work with and you need to get prepared because you have to be ready when your time is here. So whether it be this year or next year, you just have to be ready. So for the sellers out there, the same thing. The market is gonna go up and down. Right now it is up. So then that means that, do you wanna sell your house at top dollar and get the proceeds to buy that next house that you're really looking at buying? If you are not prepared to stay in your house for the next five to 10 years, then you probably need to get ready to sell. Because what's gonna happen if you stay in the house and then the market goes down, which it will do at some point in time, and then you're gonna be stuck there or have to sell lower for a few years. So you don't want that. So you have to look at the vision for your family, yourself, your family, if you're individual or family, and decide, do I wanna be here for the next five years? If you don't, then you need to prepare to sell. That's just my um, truth. <laughs> it may or may not be your truth. But again, I'm always going to tell it like it is. I'm going to keep it straightforward. And I always want to go with your goal. So if you say, hey, Suzette, I'm not ready to do anything right now, then I'm not going to push you. And that's just the way it is. Because you remember I said, people always first. People, people, people. And that's what I do. So I work with you. I just tell you what my thoughts are, what my predictions are. Predictions are. Everyone has um, their predictions right now. You never know. I'm gonna put all the numbers in my in the um, show notes so you can take a look yourself. Please subscribe to my channel. Contact me at Premier Diamond Realty, Suzette Loggins. All my information is below.